Hey everyone, this is Erica. Thank you so much for watching Dislocated Devotions. This is based on Exodus 17, 8 through 16. So my husband and I just bought a new grill last week and of course we wanted to cook everything on the new grill and our house smells super smoky right now. But one evening we started up the grill and heard thunder in the distance. But the sky looked clear and my trusty weather app said there was no rain predicted. So I thought, you know what, let's just keep going. It's gonna be totally fine. But sure enough, the rain came a pouring. All of a sudden, we were not worried with our safety or dryness as much as we were worried about our new grill's safety and dryness. I mean, we just bought it, so we didn't want it sitting out in the rain, all hot with cold water on it. I mean, it might crack, it might get rusty, and the grill was too hot and smoky to put the cover on it. So at first, my husband tried to position our huge patio table umbrella next to the grill so that it would cover the grill and would stay dry. But the winds were too intense and it kept falling. So as my husband kept nursing the coals of the grill, I stood next to the grill holding that patio table umbrella over the grill and my husband. And as the wind was blowing, the rain was coming down sideways and I was just holding that patio umbrella upright. It reminded me of the precious moment of Moses, Aaron, and her in Exodus. During the battle of the Amalekites, it was only when the staff of God was raised in Moses' hands that the Israelites were winning the battle. When Moses had his staff lowered, the enemy was winning. And when Moses' arms got so tired from holding the staff, his right-hand men put a stone under him and held his hands up, one on each side. And I don't know what tough time you are going through or what challenge you may be facing, but I do know that you can't make it alone. And sometimes we feel pressured to do it alone. Sometimes we feel like we can't bring our baggage to the church or to our family or to our friends because we're worried we'll be judged if we don't measure up. And some of us have felt the sting of rejection, confiding in people we thought would care about us and that we could trust. And if that's happened to you, I am so sorry. Our experiences may have reinforced us to hide our challenges inside, resigning to the fact that we just have to deal with it on our own. And haven't we all tried to do it on our own? We think we can just try harder or work longer or read the right book, go cold turkey. And if we do that, we can stop our bad habits, our bad thoughts or our pain for good. But every time we try to do something on our own, it fails. Go back to the coping me mechanism, back to spiraling in our unhealed wounds, and our arms get tired from carrying the weight of the world in our hands. No, we can't do it alone. We need help. Just like my husband needed me to hold the umbrella steady during the storm, we need help keeping ourselves steady in the storm. We need something to prop us up when we're too tired to keep going. We need the power of God to lift us up the sustaining power that the Holy Spirit gives. And sometimes this power of God comes through the vehicle of others. Just like Aaron and her had to lift Moses' hands up, sometimes God's power works through the people who help lift us up. A timely word from a friend, encouragement from a partner, a discovery from a trusted counselor, and yes, sometimes from our medication. But friend, I want you to know if you think you're in this battle all alone, you are not alone. You have a God who is present with you in every battle and in every storm. And you have a God who can redeem every circumstance for good. And if asking for help from someone or talking about your challenges seems really scary, I totally get it. And I want to encourage you to have faith. You might be judged, you might be rejected, that is possible. And you might be welcomed, and you might be loved, and you might take your first step on the path towards healing. Let's pray together. Gracious God, who was with Moses in his battle and empowered him through his friends, give us the sustaining power of your Holy Spirit for our battles. 
Give us the courage to lean on those around us, to speak up about our challenges, and to lovingly welcome someone who shares their tough times with us. Help us to stand firm in our hope that you will redeem everything for good.